TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Uh, right behind me, if you miss a live, just go to Twitch and replay the live. Simple. You know what I'm saying? They right here. They all there. You get me? Don't forget, we do got Patreon. I do owe Patreon two videos. I'm going to get one of them done tonight. I have the flu. Leave me alone. Uh, and don't forget, I got merch. I got merch. I've had this shirt on since Thursday. I have the flu. Leave me alone. Uh, the link to all that are down in the description, man. 15 Christmas traditions British people love. Tis the season. I'm feeling real holiday spirity. Um, let's get into it. The festive season is upon us EC Dreamers and Christmas is a very important time here in the UK. So today I'm going to share with you 15 Christmas traditions that British people love. In the month of December it becomes acceptable to wear terrible jumpers and we bring... Christmas jumpers are bright, colourful and very festive. The uglier the better. They have re reindeer, snowmen, holly... Brits love a terrible Christmas jumper. They're bright, colourful, ugly, right? wonderful, okay. all at the same time, and they're a lot of fun to wear. Now this is my new Christmas jumper. I had a Christmas jumper that I used to always wear when I was in Chicago. It was a snowman. Uh, and he was doing um, booger sugar. Let me show you my old Christmas jumper. Three, two, one. And if you're in the UK in December, go out, buy yourself a Christmas jumper, and join the fun. Number two, pantomimes, or pantos as they're also known. Now, let's be honest, these are a little bit mad, if for anyone not from the UK. So what they are, are musical comedy theatre, um, and they're based around traditional children's stories, like Snow White or Jack and the Beanstalk. And they're performed in theatres around the UK during Christmas time. Now they usually star famous TV actors or singers, and they are mad. Frankly, they are completely mad. So they Sounds boring. Uh, not even gonna lie to you. This is too Christmassy. Y'all wildin' out there. They often have pop culture references, and there's a lot of interaction between the audience and the performers. So there's a maybe good for kids though. A lot of call and response. The audience will shout out things. Uh, it's it's very fun. I've got to say. Last year, I like, are you talking about for adults or for kids? I went to uh, Aladdin at the Hackney Empire, and yeah, it's a really good time. It's fun for all the family, and it definitely gets all you the in family, the Christmas okay. spirit. And if you're in the UK during Christmas. Why not go to a pantomime? Number three, getting drunk at the office Christmas party. Ah. Christmas is a great time to let your hair down and Brits love a Christmas party. But sometimes they take it too far. This one is salutable. Salute. <laughs> I got high blood pressure, so I don't drink that much no more, but. <laughs> now there are five clear stages to making an idiot of yourself at the Christmas party. First of all, you drink too much. Secondly, you make an idiot of yourself on the dance floor. Number three, you insult your boss. Number four, you try and kiss the social media manager. And number five, you photocopy a part of your anatomy. Then you wake up the next day wondering if you still have a job. It's a tradition that we do every year. Unfortunately, at Eat Sleep Dream English, it's just me. So there is no Christmas party. Oh well. Number four, advent calendars. For the month- Advent calendar, what is that? Month of December, all children and some adults have an advent calendar. There are 25 doors and on each day, like number one, on the 1st of December, you open up the door and there's a picture, or if you're lucky, some chocolate behind that door. Now, when I was a kid, we just had pictures, but these days, it's all about the chocolate advent calendars. Now, I'm I wish I would have known that. I would have got one for my daughters. Like most countries, our big day is Christmas Day, the 25th of December. But on Christmas Eve, which is the 24th of December, we do have a couple of traditions. Personally, I like to do all my Christmas shopping on the 24th of December, but... Then nobody gets a good gift from you. Nobody gets a good gift from him. The day before? What you getting? It's empty. I don't think that's a British tradition. So yeah, I think I'm the only one. One thing that is a tradition is that all children will write a letter to Father Christmas with a list of all the presents that they want to receive. Then they will give it to their parents who might go and post 
that letter. Or if there is a chimney in the house, they send the letter up the chimney. And that's how Father Christmas knows what you want, of course. Then every child hangs up their stocking. This is not gonna lie, this year was the first time I didn't get one, but my daughter got a stocking. Like, I've never got a stocking for Christmas ever in my life. I called it a sock in one of my vlogs. <laughs> so that Father Christmas knows where to put the present. Now, I remember when I was a kid, my mum would put this on my legs as I went to sleep. And so when I woke up, I could feel the weight of the presents on my legs. And I knew that Father Christmas had been. That was the most exciting feeling in the world. What'd she get you? world we also like to put out a glass of brandy and some carrots by the fireplace or by the christmas tree this is for father christmas and his reindeers this gives so in the uk they think it's acceptable for father christmas to be out there sliding that sled off the brandy some energy so they can go around the world giving all the children their presents. Tell now, of course, energy. most homes will have a Christmas tree. This is a Norwegian spruce that you put up in your house and you decorate it with baubles, tinsel, angels, whatever you have, and lights, of course, as well. And underneath the tree, that's where you put all your presents. Now, on Christmas Day, the 25th of December, every family has their own traditions, their own things that they love to do. But one thing that everyone does is have a big <coughs> dinner. This usually involves turkey, Although, of course, other birds are eaten and vegetarian options. Also, y'all eat turkey out there on Christmas. See, we so we have it on Thanksgiving. Um, and some people double up. Like, I wouldn't mind having it for th Christmas again. But, you know, we do ham as well. Different other cuts of meat. Tamales for the, for the Mexicans. Uh, you know, it'd be good. Options are, of course, popular as well. Then you have roast potatoes. Uh, you have vegetables, depending on what you want. Do you want Brussels sprouts, carrots, peas, broccoli? I don't know. Then we have gravy to sort of give it some moisture. Uh, I personally like to have a Yorkshire pudding, but I know that's controversial. Uh, we also have something called bread sauce, which is a sauce made of bread. It's really quite delicious. What a guy. Bread sauce. I feel like they got some bread sauce at a British store down the street from me. I'm gonna go get some and try it. Uh, you might have cranberry sauce as well on the side <coughs> and a bit of like, fruitiness and flavor. My personal favorite is a pig in blanket. What is a pig in blanket? It's a sausage wrapped in bacon. It sounds cute, but it's a pig wrapped in another pig, so. That's that. evil. And for pudding, it's traditional to have a Christmas pudding. It's kind of like a mincemeat cake with brandy sauce. Personally, I'm not that fussed about it. I'd rather have chocolate. What's minced meat? This is tradition. One thing you must do is overeat so that you're really uncomfortable and you go and spend the rest of the afternoon on the sofa, kind of regretting your life choices. And that leads me into Christmas tradition number nine, which is a Christmas TV special. All the popular TV shows make special extended versions of their show for Christmas. So one fantastic example was Only Fools and Horses. Ah. They did a Heroes and Villains Christmas special. I remember Mr. Bean did a Christmas special and this Yeah, yeah. I remember that one from Only Fools and Horses. We watched that on Patreon. This year, I think it's Gavin and Stacey. Now at three o'clock, the Queen gives her Christmas message. The King, and this is the another Queen, tradition. Man. Some families sit down and watch this. We used to watch it before opening our presents. It's a 10 to 15 minute speech and this is where she addresses the main issues of the year. And it's almost like an end of year review for her. She also links it to the Christmas story. Now in the 1992 speech, she used the infamous phrase, Annus Horribus. This is Latin for <laughs> that was a shit year. And it's now become a part of spoken English because it was so iconic. Now on channel four, there is an alternative Christmas message given by someone else. So last year it was Danny Dyer. This year, I'm not sure. As I say, not every- Y'all put Danny Dyer on the TV to make a Christmas? <laughs> oh, real hard man up there. That's tough. Every family follows the same traditions. Some families might watch the Queen's speech. Some families might not. It depends. Number 11, crackers. Now a cracker is a kind of paper cylinder that we pull apart and there is a bang. And inside you've got a little hat and a joke and maybe a toy as well. Now the key tradition here is that when you open them together as a group with your family, <coughs> is that you cross your arms, okay? So you're holding one cracker here and one cracker here and you pull and then, then they bang, the toys fall out, the jokes go everywhere. 
it's a mess. It's usually done at the beginning of the meal. Then for the rest of the Christmas meal, you sit there with your paper hat, you read your terrible joke. Why do we do it? I don't know. It's tradition. Number 12, mince pies. Oh yes. Oh, okay, here we go, mince pies. A mince pie. So this is a little pie, as you can see, and inside you have mince meat, okay? So it's dried fruit. Uh, and they So why do you call it mince? Why do you call it meat? Mince pies made of, what, am I hearing meat? What, wait, hold on, did he even say meat? Pie, as you can see, and inside you have mince meat, okay? So it's dried fruit, uh, and they have- Mince meat, he said meat, but it's dried fruit, okay. Little uh, dusting of sugar on as well. They're quite delicious, uh, you know. Bon appetit. Show us the cross mm. section. Mm. It looked dry. Do you got milk? Somebody gonna have to give you CPR during it. Try it. Try it. Try some. Try some. Oh, good, right? Another tradition is having Father Christmas shaped chocolate, just like this. The day after Christmas Day, the 26th of December, is known as Boxing Day. Now, it's believed that the name comes from when workers would receive Christmas boxes from their bosses. Now, these days, it's a day of shopping. So a little bit like Black Friday or Cyber Monday, people get up super early in the morning and go and queue outside their favorite store so they can get in. So on the 26th of December, y'all still not done buying stuff in the UK. Y'all are really marketable out there. Good stuff. Early and find the best bargains. It's also a big sporting day with the Premier League taking center stage. Now in my family, we usually eat the leftovers from Christmas day on Boxing Day, which is really awesome because you're just having Christmas dinner again for a second time. And number 15, you must take down your Christmas tree within 12 days of Christmas. Uh, I'd like you to tell some Americans that Come February, Christmas trees still be up in America. That's laziness at the end of the day. Otherwise, you will have bad luck for the rest of the year. And that's not a great way to start the year. So, please take down your Christmas trees. So those are the 15 Christmas traditions that... That's pretty cool, though. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty cool that y'all got traditions and things of that nature. Um, I want to, you know, for my daughter, I want to start some type of traditions and things of that nature. You know, I want to be cool and do that stuff. But I did find out I'm going to go buy minced meat pie. I'm going to go buy bread sauce. And that's it. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post. I'm going.